for it. Uh, kitchen remodel. I'll touch on that now. I talked with John Pope. John Pope is the guy who Herb turned me on to a few months back. John's a DIR registered contractor. He's done a number of projects in, the, in this county. Um, I like John. He's local. He's from Fairfax. He's got two kids in the fire service. He did provide us a bid initially. Going through, going by the letter of the law as DIR as SBA 54 is written, his first bid was around $100,000. I re-met with John, we revisited the plans, uh, we talked about SB 854, he seemed to think that there's some gray area in SB 854, I tend to agree, um, but again, he is a DIR registered contractor, if he does do this project, he will register the project with, with the Department of Industrial Relations. The bid you have before you is uh, him working to come within budget of what the district has for that kitchen project. And I believe it's sixty or sixty-five thousand dollars. Is that correct? Fifty-four. Well, this is fifty-four, but we had talked. The budget was sixty. I think it's sixty. I think it's sixty. So this is what he gave back to me. But he also said there's room for this price to come back, come down. He put in the price of the cabinet makers that we had used through our architect. According to John, his cabinet maker, there's probably a five or six thousand dollars savings, as well as if we buy the appliances directly and give him the measurements that there'll be some savings additionally there. Um, where do we go from here? In a perfect world, again, it's not on the agenda for approval by the board, but I think if the board gave Eric and the fire chief direction to work with John to come in under budget on the kitchen, that we could do that. Um, I'm open to suggestions. We've been going without a kitchen since March 1st. Uh, I've got four other bids that have come in. The cheapest one besides this was $86,000. The other two were over $100,000. The first person who uh, put the proposal in, uh, there were a construction branch of the, the company that did the mold, mold remediation. They were $24,000. I called them to see if they're interested in rebidding. They said no, we're, we're maxed out. I call the number of other companies. People just are too busy to come in. John said he's available to get this done. Uh, suggestions? Direction? I have a question. Yes. Um, of these bids that you've received already, other than the initial one from the mold eradication folks, are these all qualified, like two of, two registered? Of the, two of the four are. Two of the four. Two of the four. And the other two who weren't are substantially more than this. Understood. Okay. So what, what's, you know, I guess the concern I have, and I listened to your um, explanation at the Fire Commission meeting the other night, is um, I don't know if this guy's a lawyer or a construction company or what, but I'm a little concerned about his opinion that, you know, don't worry about SB, whatever. Well, I don't think it was so much as don't worry about it because he does plan to register the project with mm -hmm. with DIR as mm -hmm. he's required to. Okay. Um, I tend to, he knows more about this than I do, than, excuse me, he knows more about the process of SBA 54 than I do, other than what I've heard from uh, the attorneys who've gotten back to us. There was a suggestion from the fire commission that before we move forward with this, we attempt, we attempt to get some sort of legal opinion back from county council. Whether or not that's something we want to do is up to you. I'm guessing, I'm not an attorney, I know how they tend to render their opinions. They definitely err on the side of caution. So my guess is they may give you feedback different than what the guy who does the construction does. Right, uh, yeah. I guess the concern is more, um, and I realize timing is an issue and I'm not trying to be a obstructionist here. But well, then again, I don't want to get down to the other side of this and say, oh, we have this wonderful new kitchen and we also have a lawsuit. Right. So um, have we have we um, submitted an RFP? I have not submitted an RFP to anyone. I do have one that's available. Okay. So all these responses are without the RFP? Correct. Other than um, the RFP has the RFP has some specific in it as far as what we want from the kitchen, but they're able to get those from the plans and the drawings that I show them. Mm -hmm. But the RFP, as far as I can tell, is a lot of legalese that talks about bonding, timing, and things like that. Understood. I think as part of it, I think 
I would recommend that we do indeed seek legal counsel on this and that we mention that we have solicited these bids without an RFP and get their opinion on that. Um, if they say, you know what, you're sort of I'm wading into dangerous waters here, we, we need to listen to that. Okay. Um, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, I hope they don't come back with that and you can move forward. But I, I think it's due diligence for us to check first. How about, uh, with Eric's assistance, we'll reach out to legal for an opinion. Mm -hmm. If what we get back seems to be like we're on solid ground by going with John, um, could we get direction to move forward to enter into a contract with John not to exceed X amount of dollars? Or would you like to wait until next month? No. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be the only person yeah. speaking. So, <laughs> I, I hate to have the fireman continue to be operating without a kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's already been five months. Will you go another couple? No, no. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop. You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what was, I thought I read somewhere, what was, where is John trying to go to keep the costs down? Was he? Subcontracting. And the subcontractors don't have to be DIR registered? Right area. Well, because yeah, I've heard the same thing. When I was doing work for a contractor on a public agency job before I got registered, I could never find that anywhere in the law, though. So if, if John hires a DIR registered uh, plumber to come in and they get paid prevailing wages to do X amount of plumbing, it's going to cost $22,000 for that plumbing. This is just, these are not specifics, this is just an example. If he hires Andy Pino to come in and do some plumbing to get the dishwasher and the sink ready, it's going to cost $3,000. So that's where you're talking about the savings. So, yes. so we need to know that difference. We need to know if, we, if, we, if he's on firm ground. Otherwise, the DIR uh, registered plumber will sue somebody because he well, got that's, cheated that's, out of the job. That's where your risk is. Or yeah. Your well, that's, we need right. to. I agree with Jeff. We need county council's opinion on that, and also on whether we need to do be more formal with our proposals uh, than we have. I, currently, yeah. I can tell you, I like I know where these RF people go out. You know, you send it to the Ray Builders Association and stuff. But I mean, I literally have gone through the list of Sonoma County building, Marin County building, and called these people. Nobody wants to deal bid on a kitchen. It's not worth their time. Yeah, but it's but there's a legal process, yeah. and if we have yeah, to yeah. follow it, or is this a still an emergency project, and where, where there's some exemptions? I don't know. The other thing is, it seems logical that we get the appliances yes. and take that out from John because if nothing else, it eliminates his percentage of profit. So then there is a markup. He did tell me there was a yeah. markup for him and he said that's what that's another area of savings for you is for yeah. you to purchase them. Well, yeah, there's 15% it's, it's in there. Exactly. The only thing you have to be careful of is does he get the appliances at 15% less than you would? Mm -hmm. But you have some numbers here to compare them to. Mm -hmm. It seems like no matter which way we go, that's the way to go. As long as you make it very clear as to what you're getting so that if when they show up, they don't fit in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. It's not on us. What's your pleasure? Um, I just think from a practical standpoint, the longer that we worry about this and the longer we need to keep bringing it up, the more likely it's going to become an issue. I mean, I just think we need to move forward and if we find somebody to do the work, we do the work and we're trusting the people that we hire and we're trusting their professional opinions and that's why you're hiring somebody so i don't i don't think it's necessary for you know the district to go to county council i don't object to it but i feel like it's just adding another cost and delay to it when on a practical level this you know it, it's become such an issue and i just think this is it's just more of a business decision i don't see it as such a liability factor I kind of think we're overthinking it. Right. That's what John told me. He's like, you guys are way overthinking this. Right. And I mean, I guess I just, I mean, I had a meeting today with, on a project I'm working on with contractors and engineers and architects. And, you know, if there's an issue that comes up, you bring in professionals and you take their opinion. And they were talking about, you know, inspectors and, you know, who would pass what and whatever. And, like, I trust them because, I, and I hired them because I don't know. Right. And so I'm, I'm sort of looking at this going, I don't know. But if this guy does know, you know, that's why we're hiring him. So. You know, we're putting our trust and our faith in staff on this. Linda. Um, 
I, I was just wondering, what is the budget now? Because I thought originally the kitchen budget was 85, and then I heard it was 65, and now it's down to something else. What so we never really had established a budget this fiscal year. Initially, when we got that first bid back from North Bay Environmental, and then yeah. it said 24,000. That's yeah. kind of where we had set the number, but then when they had backed out and looking at from other contractors and some feedback before this fiscal year was started, Eric and I had come up with the, the thought that we could probably do it for 60 or 65, which I was optimistic that we could, but then the next three bids I got were for 100,000 plus or 86,000. So I was a little concerned, which is why I like John. Um, he's like I said, he's local. He's got two kids in the fire service. I trust him. Um, that's why I re-met with him and said, "Hey, you know, like, can we make this work?" And he's worked with us and he's given me some other recommendations on how we can make it more affordable. So I think, uh, you know, I think he's our guy. From a timing perspective, I think it'll take a lot less time to get that opinion than it will to be fighting something down the road. I'm comfortable. We'll, re we'll reach out to them and uh, we'll go from there. Right. It's sixty thousand. Thank you. Yes, uh, I will tell you that five months of using a slop sink for washing your dishes or walking over here, a you know, stove that doesn't quite work. It's it's been pretty frustrating on all on all ends. So, like I said, I, the chief has been doing a lot of work, and he's been working with Caesar pretty closely, and I, I appreciate the the work that the chief and Caesar have put in because I know it's, it's been a frustrating process. So I just, it's, yeah, five months is, it's been, it's been pretty frustrating. Equally frustrating. Anybody else? Yeah, I was going to say basically the same thing. March 1st is when the kitchen went crap. These poor guys have not had a kitchen that they can use. I have no idea where they're washing their dishes. I have no idea. But I think it's very, um, unsanitary now the mold's been cleaned up great but you've got exposed pipes you've got no water you've got no dishwasher you've got nothing in the kitchen except finally a stove back and I guess you have a refrigerator refrigerator but this, like Leah said it's going to be a bigger issue and a bigger issue and I don't know why the firefighters haven't sued the district you know three months ago for giving them such horrible working conditions. So I think the sooner the better, you gotta get rolling on it. I don't know why you never took my $25,000 offer to begin with, and I think it's just ridiculous to continue and continue and to leave these guys in the lurch like this. I would not wanna work. If I was a firefighter, I'd be looking for another job. I think that's the other thing, I think we do have some risk exposure there from the conditions next door for the employees. We're all over there. Ron? Well, I just uh, would like to suggest once uh, you get the information you need and perhaps a full board together at a special meeting to approve uh, this project, not wait for a regularly scheduled meeting if we can save a week or two or three weeks on this once the decision has been made and it is agendized to the public the special meeting one item on the agenda and proceed with uh, all due haste to uh, get the thing done Eric are we because it isn't specifically on the agenda Precluded from taking some action on this this evening? Yes, I believe you are. You can give some direction, but I don't think you can take direction. Well, I think you could give some direction. I think that we're at a threshold that you have a policy that clearly states the board needs to approve it. You can't approve it tonight because they get to that point. It's not a listed agenda item. With that said, there's been a couple people who have requested getting a little bit of a follow up from legal, but it seems like that's wavering a little bit too. So right now I'm just kind of looking for what is the direction that we you know, kind of really want to go. I know what the chief has presented and kind of shaped it down a little bit. And maybe if uh, uh, Mr. Pope would give a more formal thing, we could certainly call a special meeting. We could do it any time everybody's available and bring them in for 15 minutes and say, here's this formal 
colonial registered as a DIR. I mean, he's, he puts his name on the line by doing that um, in terms of the subs. <coughs> My opinion is uh, on something like that, if he's hiring the subs, the subs need to be DIR registered as well and follow the prevailing wage. If we're hiring the subs and we're trying to piece, that's where, in my mind, I think they're trying to refer to areas of gray. We're bringing in our own plumber to do a job that's under the threshold needing to be DIR registered, great. If he's doing it, I think it pretty clearly states where that's at. With that said, I don't disagree with any of the commentary that's been made. It, it has to get done. Um, and unfortunately, it's uh, a slow-moving government process of trying to actually get something pushed through and approved. Or just put it out there. You tell your fire chief to handle it, and I'll take care of everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eric says our policy that isn't all that old yet, was it two months? Mm -hmm. Doug says for anything at this size expenditure, the board needs to approve it. It's over 25000 so that's why I asked it. Yeah, because well, it was on now the, the other thing I would say is, with that said, the chief has presented you with information that you didn't have when this was posted. I mean, this just came in when? On oh, Sunday, some point Sunday. The agenda was posted on Friday, so you can, under those lights, make an exception. It's provided copies to anybody in the room who's wanted it. Uh, and if the board were to make basically a vote amongst the board to take action on this, you could then turn it into an action item. That would be two votes. I would suggest that we instruct the chief to get a contract and then we spend upon that and we set a special meeting within you know, a week of receipt of the contract to approve or you know, not the contract. But I think having a special meeting format, um, I mean, I like that idea given that it's not on the agenda for tonight and that if we can agree to make ourselves available as a board, um, you know, I see no reason why it should, couldn't fall into a special meeting and happen before our next regular special meeting. So then you can publish the entire contract in the packet as well. I, I, am, yeah, I agree with that, provided we check with County yeah. Council on those well, two, two, I two items. Mm -hmm. Whether the subs have to be DIR registered and whether we have to go out with a more formal uh, bid process even though this, while it's taking so darn long, is really an emergency project. We've got to get this done. I, I can bump up tomorrow on both. Okay, that's all I got, unless you want to talk more Steven. about the kitchen. Yeah, so uh, I just, a couple questions. First of all, you got bare studs over there? Is that what we're, what's Partially. Like? Partially. So is there any reason not to do the job, but just to put, uh, drywall up there to for the safety issues. Is there any reason why you couldn't do that? Like we don't need to do that. Well, assuming you did, then it would take the pressure off of the got to get it done tomorrow. Uh, no, I think. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is: is there? Uh, are you moving uh, plumbing? Are you moving electricity? Or uh, besides this issue that was brought upon us. So, do it in a special meeting that no one attends. I mean, it, it, the whole thing just is very unseemly, I think. And we can, we can do better than that, and we should be, this is exactly the kind of thing that we can, we should avoid so we can get our finances in order. Jeff. Um, I'd just like to say this is one of two basic safety and employee working condition projects that we need to push forward as soon as we possibly can. One more complicated than the other. But just, just as we're trying to push forward the park shed initiative for our park employees, we need to push this through for our firefighters so that they are not encumbered by continually not having a kitchen. I'm not trying to hold this up. I'm just trying to protect us from poten potentially a lawsuit. Understood. Um, which comes down, I'll be happy to come to a meeting tomorrow if you can make all these things happen. Sure. I would think that the, the direction we've given to We're the staff gonna, is speeding enough, not slowing yeah, it down. I, so. I would have liked to have voted for it tonight if we had the ability, and we don't. Understood. We can't do it tomorrow. I'm comfortable. I have enough. Eric, it happens before we call 72 hours.